Hey guys, it's Frankie with Con Freaks and Geeks, and I have an awesomely awesome unboxing today. You can probably already tell what it is, but I have a beautiful new statue here of the amazing, crazy villain from the Metal Gear Solid series, Psycho Mantis. This is the second statue in the first four figures Metal Gear Solid line. And this is the exclusive edition. Um, you can see right here, it says exclusive. It comes with a different uh, head sculpt of him without his mask. Also, they did make a active camo version, you know, because in the game he goes invisible. Uh, I decided to, to, to just get this one. We have the beautiful, huge exclusive one here, which we are about to unbox and see what secrets lie within it. All right, so this, this is a big boy, just like all my other statues. and. I know it's gonna give me a lot of crap, but we're gonna do it anyway. Anyway, box is beautiful. Just has Psycho Mantis all around it. Talks about Psycho Mantis on the back. Um, not as cool as the box I have for Snake. I also have the Snake statue. Sorry, I don't have it down here at the moment. But um, the exclusive one, and I think the active camo ones for Snake, Snake um, came in like a box that looks more like the boxes that you can find in the game, like the ammo crates. So it's like really cool looking, um, but still, I don't care. It's still nice. All right, um, I am also number 217. Now, I'm, I don't care for numbers at all. I have, I don't care if I'm number one, I don't care if I'm number 3,000, 3,000, does not bother me in any way or form. So I don't usually rush to like try to get the first number in the morning, so. All right, so looks like no tape on the box itself. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be the, the part I dislike. We got a fancy sticker, which I believe is for the signature editions. So if you pre-order your figure, or your figure, so it is a figure sort of, the statue at first four figures, um, like usually within the first like 24 hours it was originally, and then it's within so much time and you get the signature edition. I don't remember the rules. They, 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 they change it constantly, which is fine. Um, but you get a cool little sticker and then usually like a signed card in here from Alex, one of the head honchos over at First Four Figure. All right, so here we have the thing that talks about authenticating your, co your uh, statue and how to do so. And then we have the actual statue, which, all right. Ooh, yeah, that's smooth. Oh, that's how I like it. See, it's already less trouble. If you've uh, watched any of my other statue unboxings, uh, a crappy unboxing was the Bloodborne statue, which is right behind me. First four figures, mwah. Thank you very much for making these so easily accessible. Let's get these little cards out. All right. Uh, there we go. All right, that's the base, obviously. That's the heavy bookshelf. Psycho Mantis himself right here. And then these, I believe, are the two heads, which I will go over both of them, but I will be using his default head because the other one's ugly. And not because first four figures did a bad job, it's just ugly because he's an ugly-faced, massacred man. We got more things here, I don't know what they are, but we'll put them here, they're probably more parts of the books. Oh man, the packaging in here is fantastic. There's like so much foam. A lot of pieces to this one. Reminds me of my Bloodborne one, which is not even first four. Still more stuff to come out. I think it's all the books. If you didn't tell from the image on the front, uh, he is like floating over a pile of open books. And I think that's what almost all these pieces are. All right, time to put the big boy together. All right. So here we have a closer look at the statue. Here is the beautiful head with the mask with the awesome clear plastic for the eyes itself. The amount of detail put into the mask, so beautiful. We do have all this detail added onto him. I mean, look at that, you can see his chest. I mean, I mean, that's how it was in the game, but it just, it's just awesome. This fake leather straps all the way around. Awesome detail even on the hands. Look at them, they look dirty, proper. Look at that. All the way down. And then we have these awesome books I was talking about. So if you look closely, you will see that they do have actual text all twisted across all these books. Very cool looking. You know, we have actual books in here with actual names too. We have the bust over here. And just so you guys can get an idea of how he looks like profile wise, here we go. You can see 
he does look like he's floating. Thanks to the magic of pegs <laughs> and gravity. But he looks really cool. Now let's take a closer look at the alternate scalp head, which we don't have on at the moment. So here you go. It looks awesome, no lie. It looks horrible just like it does when he gets unmasked at the end of the boss fight. Um, beautiful, like I said, probably put it on during Halloween. Otherwise, I'll stick with the classy look right here. Well guys, that was the first four figures, Psycho Mantis exclusive statue, the second in the line of Metal Gear Solid statues after Snake himself. If you like what you saw, make sure to go ahead and like us as well as subscribe to the CFG channel on YouTube. Well guys, stay freaky geeky.